Hey, hello again. Bridget Eyre here, and I'm going to be doing a part three of, um, you can see I just wrote my notes on just a little envelope here, but I'm going to be doing part three of um, starting a Catholic YouTube channel, things that you want to consider when doing this. And I mentioned in part one, and I'll put the links to part one and part two, but you could be a parish, you could be a diocese, you could be a um, Catholic news outlet, you could be a Catholic lay apostolate, you could be a Catholic radio channel, you could be a um, just an individual, uh, you could have a Catholic business. These are all um, different entities that might want to have a YouTube channel. And um, there's going to be probably one person or a group of people that run the channel because it's a lot of work. But um, I'm going to go ahead and give you the next six ideas. So the last two have been five and five, and this one's going to be six. Some things for you to consider if you want to start a Catholic YouTube channel. So, um, number one, be yourself. It's You don't need to be anybody else. Just be yourself. That's me. I'm being myself. This is me. <laughs> Here I am, being myself, so it's just super easy to be yourself, and you don't have to be like anybody else. God created you, there's nobody like you, so just be yourself, and have, um, you know, just be yourself. Number two, just start. I am a public relations consultant. I've worked in media for 30 years, and I'm a very, very big strategic planner, <clears throat> and I think some thought needs to be involved in terms of doing this but just start if you don't things aren't going to be perfect it's going to take a while to develop your voice and to develop how to use your equipment and all that but this is kind of something that you need to learn on the job because you're not going to learn it any other way but by doing it certainly you can watch other people's videos and all that and i'm i'm good with that but i would say just start there's no time like the present. Now is the time of salvation. So there's no reason to wait a really long time to get started. Um, and if you really want help, you can certainly uh, uh, come to me, paxpr.com. Um, I'd be happy to get you started. Um, I do consulting for this, so, um, and I've done it. So, But I would say just start. Number three. You need your content to have a certain niche, and that's not going to be that hard if you are, um, let's say, you're a pro-life organization. You already have your niche right there. Let's say you're a Catholic business. Um, your niche is, you know, you have a Catholic bookstore, okay, or you have um, whatever, you know, you're a realtor or um, any number of businesses you already have your niche but if you're a person like me who is just a sole youtuber I'm not a diocese I'm not a parish I'm not a Catholic radio station I'm not any of these other things um, you need to have a niche for your content because people can always go to you and look okay if I go to Bridges channel she's gonna be talking about media or she's gonna be talking about faith culture and media you know I kinda know what I'm gonna get so you need to have a niche Number four, try different things <clears throat> and try different uh, delivery. You might want to try different um, backgrounds, different lengths, different formats. Um, this channel is really, uh, really, I designed this channel to be more of an interview format, and I've had a lot of interviews, and I'll have more interviews. But um, <clears throat> those interviews can be long, and believe it or not, I've had a lot of people that have watched 45-minute videos. They want to go deep and listen to a deep concept or content. Um, <clears throat> but it, short content's good, too, and that's kind of where the trend is going for content. So you want to try different things. Don't be afraid to try different things. Uh, number five how often should you release a video okay the industry standard is about once a week but really 
you can do whatever you want because if you're the content creator you figure out um, what's going to work for your life um, most people that are doing a YouTube channel it is not their full-time job uh, most youtubers are not making a lot of money um, contrary to popular belief it usually takes about I'd say about 10 years to actually make any money and that's a lot of 10 years of hard work and developing an audience but if you are a, um, a diocese or something like that and you have staff that can do this or a parish where you have like a dedicated staff person to do this then um, I mean it'd be great if you could do a daily show but I would say weekly would be the goal starting out um, and maybe even monthly or bi-weekly if you have a small staff or um, you're just evolving my my goal is to get to a daily show and I mean weekday Monday through Friday <clears throat> but um, right now I'm trying to at least do once a week and it's good if you can do it um, on a certain day like release on a certain day um, and then number six is have fun I mean this is fun um, <laughs> it can it can be annoying if your equipment doesn't work or something or you have to do a show over and over and over because you keep goofing up and editing is fine but you know it's just better if you just do another take um, but have fun um, it should be fun so those are my uh, that's part three of things you need to consider when doing a YouTube show or a YouTube channel number one be yourself number two just start things aren't going to be perfect um, number three have a content niche number four try different things try different types of delivery uh, number five uh, once a week would be the standard for a YouTube channel and number six and most of all have fun because it's important to have fun God wants us to have fun so anyway that's what I got and um, thanks for tuning in we'll see you next time and God bless bye bye